Whichever side, right now you should not sleep, ma'am. <laughs> so generally in India they told you, you should not put your head to the north and sleep. Hmm? You're aware of this? Yes. If you put your head to the north and sleep, demons will come and catch you. Something like this they told you. Why this is, is if you know something about geography and all this, the development of the planet, the North Pole is pulling all the land upward. The Indian subcontinent is moving up approximately four centimeters per year. That's the reason why the Himalayan range is still growing is because the Indian subcontinent is just piling up. You must calculate how many years it will take for India to disappear into the foothills of Himalayas. It's happening. We are losing the country. Four, four centimeters per year, we are losing the nation, it's moving upward because of the pull of the northern hemisphere, it is going and uh, because the geological content of the rock is such, the rock up there in the Central Asia is so much harder than what is here, it is going and just piling up. Himalayas becoming taller and taller, India becoming smaller and smaller. You know why you should control your population? <laughs> <coughs> So, such a strong pull is there from the North Pole that the very land mass is moving upward. And you know the magnetic pull, magnetic field, magnetic pull of the planet, North Pole and South Pole, you know all those things. Which substance does a magnet pull very easily? Iron. Iron. Suppose you are anemic, and you go to your doctor, what does your doctor prescribe for you? Iron. So an important ingredient in your blood is iron. If you put your head to the north and sleep during the night when you… when you're in horizontal positions, then slowly the blood will get pulled towards your brain. When there is too much circulation in the brain, you cannot sleep peacefully. It will keep you disturbed, demons will bother you. It won't let you sleep. If you have any kind of, you know, inherently weak aspects in your brain or if you are of old age, you could die in your sleep. One can have hemorrhage because extra blood is trying to enter the brain where the blood vessels are hair-like. Something extra is being pushed because of the magnetic pull. When you're in a vertical position, this is not so. The moment you become horizontal, this pull on the head is so strong that slowly the blood tries to move towards the brain. So to avoid this, this is true only in the northern hemisphere. If you go to Australia, you should not put your head to the south. If you're in India, you should not put your head to the north. You can put it any other way, it's okay. If you're not aware of this, in the northern hemisphere, everything turns clockwise. If you open your tap, the water will be clockwise. Have you noticed this? If you go to Australia and open your tap, the water will be anti-clockwise. You're not aware of this? If you go to the equator line, where the equator is in any part of the world, usually they will be demonstrating this. Hmm? Anybody been to such places? No? If you go in Africa, where the equator line passes, just here, where the equator is, it's marked. Five feet this side, if you open the tap or even if you pee, it will go clockwise. Five feet away, that side you go and open the tap, it will go anti-clockwise. Just southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere. So, this is a fact that uh, 
but it may take a very long time, I don't think we will see that, okay? Sometime in future, we don't know how many million years, there is a certain process happening in the earth that the poles will shift. But it may happen so gradually there may be no upheaval or there may be an upheaval. Nobody really knows exactly how it may happen. But there could be upheaval because this change from North Pole to Northern Hemisphere to Southern Hemisphere is so dramatic just within a few feet. So when it shifts, many things in the planet will change, many things. The very way your systems function will change. So why in your temples they told you Pradakshana, <coughs> clockwise, that's only if you're in Northern Hemisphere. If you build a temple in Australia, you must go anti-clockwise. So if that changes, when the poles change, we have to change the science of how we use it also. But I don't think people will have the sense to change it. They'll continue the same way. <laughs> because it's written in the scriptures, you must go clockwise. Just because the pole shifts, you think they will go anti-clockwise? They'll not go, they'll go with the book. That's the problem with the book. For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.